it took me years of making videos online to learn these three key things I'm gonna share with you today. Now, if you don't know these things I'm gonna teach you today, it could literally mean the difference between you pushing through when things get hard or quitting right before your big breakthrough. Mindset is crucial because if you neglect having the proper mindset, you won't approach making video content in a way that will bring you clients. All the tactics and strategies I give you, they won't really mean a thing if you don't have the correct mindset going forward. The first thing I've learned is to give all your best information away and don't hold anything back. I first learned this principle from Gary Vee and it's that the people who realize the game is all about just providing value will be the ones who are successful. Now, sometimes making content online, you feel like you're just giving away all this information for free and you're not getting anything back in return. But here's the secret. When you give it all away for free and you don't hold anything back, your future clients are watching and building a relationship with you. It's a one-sided relationship because you don't know them yet, but as they continue just to watch all your videos, they start to know, like, and trust you, eventually leading them to reach out to wanna work with you. We as salespeople, we need to just move away from this model of selling people, and we need to start actually providing value to our potential clients. I mean, that's how I get people daily calling me wanting to work with me. When people see how knowledgeable you are about your community, and the value you are providing them, you already have them sold. You're differentiating yourself from the thousands of realtors in your marketplace who have to use scripts and sales techniques just to close people because they are just another salesperson. The technique that works the best is literally just providing great information on your community and giving that future client everything they need to know up front. Most realtors don't have a unique selling proposition, something that differentiates themselves from everyone else. Tactics like cold calling and door knocking, I mean, they could work, but how much nicer would it be if everyone who you spoke to actually wanted to do business with you and actually liked you? Now, the second thing I've learned is to be honest and transparent with your viewers, with your potential clients. I mean, one of my best videos you could see right here was three reasons not to move to the Palm Springs area. I mean, this video right here got 3,000 views and you might think I'm crazy for making just this kind of video and wondering why why would I even do this? Well, here's the reason. With these videos, I'm building trust with my audience and my future clients. See, what we are doing is transitioning from just that outdated model of real estate that tells us we need to always be selling or closing, and instead, we start treating people like they are friends or family members. We stop putting on this front of only saying the best things about our community. We're not telling people the real dangers of aspects of real estate, like, for example, the dangers of removing contingencies and transactions like that's a random one but just an example we start giving people the best honest truth as advisors and that allows our clients to make the decisions for themselves based on our advice but it lets them come to their own conclusions i mean let me show you some of these comments i appreciate that you are a breath of fresh air and she almost spends a paragraph just saying that she appreciates my honesty um this person appreciate your honesty it's so refreshing to see how honest you are this may be one of the fun videos you've ever made and then down here I'm more motivated than ever so didn't change that person's mind on moving here people are so used to salespeople just lying to them and being dishonest so when you are honest and just truthful you really start to make yourself stand out I mean it's so simple to be honest and tell the truth but most people they just don't do it these days and if you are transparent about the shortcomings in your city or the area you are selling in people they're gonna flock to you like a bee with honey and when your future clients clients hear you tell the truth, they will say this to themselves. They'll be like, wow, I know they won't lie to me. I know they're going to tell me the truth. I can actually trust them with my real estate transactions. See that? It's great. Real estate, it's just all about relationships first and then the money comes afterwards. Another thing I've learned is that most people know these negative aspects about your city or town already and they already have their mind made up to move here like you saw with that one comment. I mean, this just really helps build instant relationship or trust with people. Here's a quick example of how I would do it for a city like Los Angeles. I would say this. The first bad thing about LA is traffic. Honestly, it sucks. And sometimes you can be in traffic for an hour, literally to go six miles across town, six miles. I mean, there's so many people in LA and you need to learn the best times of day just to avoid all the traffic. But sometimes you can't like your morning commute to work. And with all that said, I mean, there is a reason there's so much traffic in LA. 
LA and it's because of all the opportunities. I mean, you could find jobs in finance, tech, the entertainment industry. I mean, the list, it just goes on and on. I mean, yes, you know, the traffic in LA is bad, but if you can overlook that, there's a lot of great opportunities to be had and that's personally why I'm here. If you don't like traffic, you know, maybe this isn't the place for you. That's just, you know, my my advice and that's it. I mean, you could do something as simple as that. I just, that was just off the top of my head and uh, you could do something like that for your videos as well. The last thing I've learned is don't worry if people, they just don't use you as a real estate agent. I mean, that's what will make you so likable when making these videos. I mean, yes, I'm gonna teach you how to have a strong call to action so people reach out to you um, to buy or sell real estate. But if you come from a place of just uh, truly helping people, you're going to have more clients than you ever know what to do with. Answer all your YouTube comments that you get and emails with questions from your subscribers, even if it might not turn into a sale, like then and there. Think of it like a farmer. Now, the more seeds you plant, the bigger harvest you will reap. Every person who sees your video and every single interaction you have with all your subscribers is like another seed planted. And when you plant enough seeds, the harvest time, when that comes, because it will, it's going to be epic. That's how I was able to go to France with my family for three months doing missions work and still make over a hundred thousand dollars in just a few months it was because of all the seeds i planted and all the videos i had going just to recap make sure you give away all your best information you don't hold anything back always be honest and transparent and just don't worry if people don't want to use you as their real estate agent you do these three things consistently and you're going to be massively successful on youtube next video we're going to talk about is quantity over quality and i know that just sounds so counterintuitive even me just saying it but you'll see why that choosing quantity over quality is really the best thing you could do when you start out on YouTube.